How are you, Junior One? This time we will explain what is the meaning of ones and the tens. The numbers have chairs to sit on. We have two chairs. The chair for ones, and we say every time ones on the right, tens on the left, because we have numbers from zero to nine. This is numbers for like one, two, three, and so on. This is number formed from one digit. It needs only one chair to sit on. After that, we have ten. Number ten needs two chairs to put its number on. So we get the chair of tens. Now we have ten, eleven, twelve, and so on. This number formed from two digits. And every time we will say that once on the right. Uh, letter O here for the word once and the T here for tens and we say once on the right tens on the left okay now I will explain how to solve exercises on once and the tens if we have number like 37 and he asked me to solve 37 equals what plus what I want here two dots two numbers to write here how can we read this number? We say what? We say 37. When we read this number, we say 37. No, we say 37. So, write like what we say, we will write. Like what we read this number, we will write it. We say 30, so we will write here 37. So, it's a 30 plus 7. Give me 37. Let's check our answer. If we make plus here for 30 plus 7, we will count after 30 by 7. Open 7 on your fingers and count after 30. 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37. So my answer is true. But if I write 37 equal 3 plus 7, let's check our answer. 3 plus 7 equal what? Count after 7 by 3. After 7, 8, 9, 10, we will have 10. Is this 10? No, wrong. It's a 37. So my answer is wrong. It's write it as you read it. It's a 37. If we have here 28 equal dots plus dots. So it will be equal what? 2 plus 8? 10 plus 8? No, it will be 20. Like you read it, you say 28. So you will write 20 plus 8. And again, if you check your answer, Count after 20 by 8, you will get 28. Now, if I asked you, this 28 equals how many tens plus how many ones? This time, I don't want the number. I want the number that add the chair of tens and the number that add the chair of ones. What is the number add the chair of tens? Right at the first, ones on the right. Tens on the left. Okay? He asked me here, how many tens? Ask the tens. How many numbers do you have? I have two. So we will write here two. We will not write here 20. The tens chair don't have 20. It have two. Two tens. And ask the ones. Once please, how many numbers do you have? I have eight. So we will write here eight. So 28 consists of 20 plus 8. What is the meaning of this 20? This 20 means 2 tenths. 10 plus 10. It doesn't mean 20 tenths. No, it's a 2 tenths. What is the meaning of 2 tenths? 10 plus 10. We have 2 at the tenths place. The same 28. If I asked you, this 28 equal how many ones plus how many tenths? No problem, this time I started with once to confuse you, to make you write here two and here eight, and this is will be wrong. Again, I have here the word once, so go to once a place and ask the once, how many numbers do you have once? He will say, I have eight, so we will write here eight. Now ask the tens, how many numbers do you have tens? I have two, so we will write here two. Now we have 8 at the 1's chair and 2 at the 10's chair and we will have the same result which is 
number 28, okay? This is a very important question. Like if I asked you, 30 equals how many tenths? How many ones? Again, right here, ones on the right, tenths on the left. How many tenths do we have here? He started this time by the word the tenths. How many tenths do you have? I have three, so we will write here three. How many ones? What is the number at the ones a chair? It's a zero, so no problem. We will write here zero. So 30 equal three tenths. What is the meaning of three tenths? It means 10 plus 10 plus 10. Three of the tenths. If we count 10 plus 10 plus 10, zero plus zero plus zero equals zero. One plus one plus one equals three. So 30 means it equal three tenths, okay? So again, if we have here 17 equal how many ones? How many tenths? This time he start with ones, no problem. Right, ones on the right, tenths on the left. What is the number that you have once? I have seven, so right here seven. How many tenths? What is the number that you have tenths? I have one, so we will write here one. Now, I'll ask you this 17 equal dots plus dots. This is 17. It formed from two digits. 17. What is this teen? It's, it's number 10. 17. So 7 plus 10 equals 17. And this is numbers. We must know these numbers like 11. We must. Uh, we, we can't find a way to say it. So... We will memorize it. 11 equal 1 plus 10. 12 equal 2 plus 10. Then we will continue. 13, so 3 plus 10. 14, 4 plus 10. 15, 5 plus 10. And so on. Okay? Then we will go to after 20. It's very easy. It will be 23. So it's a 20 plus 3. 57. So it's 50 plus 7. And so on. Every time we will make the same steps. But if we have the word ones and the word tens, ask the number, ask the, the name of the chair, the chair here. The chair of ones have how many numbers? Have seven. So write here seven. The chair of tens have how many? One. So we will write here one at the tens chair. 